the fourth step will be vertical distribution of this base shear uh, obviously when you calculate the total sum of all the equivalent earthquake forces which your future earthquake can produce now you distribute them along the height right and the pattern which uh, you should use to distribute along the height should actually match with the dynamics of your building also right so we know that in the displacement response first mode is the uh, is is mostly contributing and first mode shape is like it is like this right so which means that we should apply the forces in such a pattern which should displace our building in this shape because this shape has the highest contribution in the dynamic response this is the shape in which our building wants to vibrate in right so we should apply those forces which actually deform our building in this shape that will be a real representative pattern right but the first mode of the building for low rise and high rise is different for high rise buildings it is uh, like like parabolic like this for low rise it is uh, a bit straight right so that effect is accounted in in the distribution formula proposed by different building codes and also ac 7-16 so for each story any x story the force will be cvx times capital v v is the total force cvx is telling us that how much of that total is applied to that story right cvx for each story will be calculated using this expression wx is the weight of that story h i is from bottom to that story height w i is again the weight of any ith story h x is the height of that story k is an empirical factor right so if k is 1 this expression is simply linear right which is simply telling us that uh, we should uh, distribute in a inverted triangular manner right if the story masses and story heights are constant so if all w i from i 1 to n is uh, a constant value and if all h i are constant values same values uh, in that case we will be simply getting a inverted triangular distribution but if uh, k is 2 we will be getting an exp uh, a distribution like this it will be parabolic right so k is a function of building height actually it is the function of time period of the structure uh, which is the function of building height right so for low rise buildings where t is less than 0.5 second k is 1 which means we will get a linear kind of a distribution right uh, for very high rise buildings uh, it will be parabolic and intermediate will be linear interpolation so k will be calculated for uh, let's say for 1 second it will be calculated by linear interpolation and then it can be formula can be applied right so there is a catch in this expression also that h i is not the height of the ith story only it is height of that story starting from base of the building right so it's not uh, just this height this is not h i so w i is the weight of any ith story right so you use that expression and divide your base shear into different parts if you have 10 story building you will have 10 forces right and they will be having this kind of a pattern that pattern is applied to your structure it produce moments and shears and everything and the e value in the load combinations is actually coming from uh, this seismic analysis load case right so if you have a load combination like 1.2 dead plus 0.5 live plus one earthquake right so that e will be actually coming from the elf load case or rsa load case or linear time history load case whichever method you decide to apply right so uh, any load case which you make to apply this loading pattern will produce the effect or moments and shears and everything which will be only this e and that will be combined with the other load effects like dead live other things 
in load combinations and then you get a final design moment or design shear or design axial load right one last thing and then we can end this session and that is about horizontal distribution of forces vertically you can distribute so each story will receive one force right so if you are using a rigid diaphragm option you can apply that uh, to the center of that diaphragm right so each diaphragm will be applied by just one force in one particular direction if you are using it you are doing it for y direction of the building then one in the y direction also and i will explain the orthogonality thing in the next class uh, but uh, uh, the there there can be a horizontal distribution in one diaphragm also right and uh, if vx is the force uh, the seismic design shear in any story x uh, it is distributed by these sum of these fi forces which is the portion of v at any ith floor right so if this is one floor obviously there is one force vx which is calculated for this particular floor but then that force can also be distributed laterally horizontally in different elements of that floor right and the rule for that is vx is distributed to various vertical elements because there can be a shear wall in that particular story there can be several columns in that particular story so this vx is distributed among among those elements right and that distribution is based on the relative stiffness of vertical resisting elements and the diaphragm right so if there is a stiffer element it will uh, the the force which is distributed to that element will be more right so the summary is that we calculate the effective earthquake forces we di distribute them along the height we distribute them along the uh, horizontal direction also uh, that distribution vertical or horizontal in a typical commercial program is already handled by the program right so you just need to provide your ss and s1 uh, and your site class these three or four input parameters are required and all that process can be automated by e tabs or sap for example right uh, but uh, using this step by step procedure you must also be knowing the actual process so you can troubleshoot if there is any issue with your analysis results or your computer model right so in in e tabs particularly the mass source which you provide actually is used to calculate seismic weight right so if there is any partition loading if there is any superimposed dead load or landscaping or anything please include that in your mass source so that it can be accounted in the calculation of seismic weight also right
एरिया एलिमेंट्स जो 